Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing some more Outer Worlds, and we're not where we left off. No, we're not. No, we're not. Slightly different. That's right, slightly different. Yes, um, I realised when I was editing, I don't think we ever actually got the quest from Gladys. She she wanted it's us to do something. Time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Uh, no. Yeah, here we go. I want to talk about that opportunity you mentioned. So that's something I've noticed in this game a bit. It does have a habit of, um, sort of a conversation tree will end without the option of going back to the root. So if I start talking about something else, I can end up ending the conversation shy of asking everything that I want. Um, and yeah, I think that's what happened here, perhaps? So anyway. Yes, dearie? Yeah, the opportunity. Uh, distress call. Didn't we do a distress Law call? Law bless your atoms. Here's a copy of the SOS recording complete with the coordinates. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Hmm. Oh no, I think Any I see what happened. So, the distress call cool thing. You know where to find me. Uh, so the distress call cool thing, what I would got confused with, clearly, is she said distress call, cool, and there was chat about comms. Right, so I thought they were related, but they weren't. But yeah, but so that let's check, because I might have just I might have just picked up on nothing. A yeah, distract signal. So yeah, Roseway. Okay, yeah. See, this is what I thought. I thought there was something else to do. Um, interesting. Okay, so yeah, because I did actually check on my ship earlier because uh, the annoying thing is I did actually record this episode already um, but without this because I recorded an episode and then did some editing to get my mind off it because um, my audio was gone on the recent episode which is this one which is now playing out very differently but um, yeah yeah and I was really confused there was only one mission with Roseway and I'm sure a couple of people had mentioned it so I was really baffled but yeah so there we go there we have it that's where it is so there's a different one and there's another mission which is one of these, I think, mentions uh, that as well. Roseway. There we go. The acid's deeper. So, yeah. So, yeah. But we've got those missions, but I don't think I'm going to do them just yet. I do want to go down to Sis. Sis. Something? What's it called? Let's have a look. Location, region. Is that going to help me? Space. Space. Maybe not. Maybe it's not in space. Where are we going? No, can't get him there yet. Scylla. Scylla. We're going to Scylla. Inside the mission. There we go. So we're going to go to Scylla. Cool. Finally, guys. We've worked out what on earth we're doing. So, yep. Let's go to Scylla. Brilliant. And yes, I've already been to Scylla. But in a recording that disappeared. Very annoying. Very annoying. But it doesn't mean I kind of know where everything is. Well, maybe. I might have missed a lot of stuff. I don't know. But hey, Welcome we'll back, work it out. Captain. So, let's talk to you quickly. So, picked up a distress call. Can you play it back yes, for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed! For <laughs> Lord's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no! No, no, no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, cool. corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so we've got, we got some people to save, I guess. I'll be here. Alright. Interesting. So yeah, uh, Gladys wanted us to check up on that, because uh, I'm pretty sure Roseway was the one that was supposed to have been abandoned, but isn't. And uh, yeah, I did have a mission to go there, and I realised um, at the end of the last episode that didn't exist. I couldn't find it. I couldn't find Roseway. Um, but there it is now. It wasn't in this list, because we needed that distress call for this to be unlocked, I think. So um, we couldn't have done the other mission for... Um, tell it's been a little while. What the heck is his name? Max. Max. We couldn't do the mission for Max, because he needs to go there too. So anyway, we're going to go to Scylla, like I said. So let's go to the landing pad. Uh, this is a cool place. I like this place a lot. I'm, I'm kind of happy, honestly, to come back here. Um, I don't mind too much. I have to replay this. And I have checked. The audio is working. So <laughs> that's good. Um, so, who did I take last time? 
I think it was Ellie and Pavati last time, because my logic, right, is we're there to get medical droids. So Ellie, a doctor, and droids. Pavati's an engineer, so I think that's the way to do it. That's uh, that's what I'm going with. So we'll send the ladies out. Okay. So, one thing that's fun, I found out that this is actually a terraformer. So the ones that are on the other planet as well, I was like, hey, what are those? It's a terraformer. It's a terraformer. Which is kind of annoying, because I did look quite clever. Because um, I'd worked it out when I, was, when I landed here. It's like, hey, I think that could be a terraformer. Hmm, maybe. And then it was confirmed. So yeah, again, I look really clever, and you guys can't tell. So, very annoyed by that. Very annoyed by that. So, uh, you know what, let's take the lift, because there's a fun observation here. This lift sounds haunted. Ooh, it's horrible, isn't it? Isn't that horrible? So, right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up this way. I hate that I'm not seeing this all fresh. This, ah, oh, I'm sad. I'm sad, guys. I wanted, I wanted this to be a blind playthrough, and I know what, where things are now, which isn't good. So our mission is way over there. So, um, yeah, another thing I I picked up on, these little uh, force fields, you know, this little laser fence thing. Uh, I was wondering whether it was to keep uh, bad things out or to keep the oxygen in. Turns out it is to keep the oxygen in. Uh, again, all, all that sense of discovery and wonder and speculation ruined. So, yeah, guys, uh, never, never trust your recording equipment. It, it will, um, it will go haywire from time to time and make you feel silly. So, so up here is rather interesting. It'll give us some backstory. And we there's some baddies. Why is it we fight, fight every right, we what are we going to use? Ooh, yes. Let's use this hunting rifle. Oh, wow, I didn't finish him, huh? Okay. Nicely done, Pavati. Love that. And uh, Ellie sings really good too. Is that cool? Oh, hello. Yeah, so I'm shooting the little leg nozzles. There we go. Perfect. Okay, excellent. I love this gun. It's really fun. <laughs> It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not bad. Nailed it. Alright, I think that's everybody. Good stuff. Alright, let's take all these these items. Um, oh, and this. I think this might be for the ship. I don't actually know yet, but uh, we've got some colourful lights. So, maybe that's for the ship. I hope so. I'd like to have some lights in the ship. I think it'd look cool. Alright, so, we're going to go over here. Quickly loot all this stuff. No, nothing there. Adreno, weapon parts, that's fine. Okay, so, th uh, nope, not there. Here it is. So this is the first part of the puzzle. So, faded broadsheet. A corner of the faded broadsheet is reserved for a Circus Time sponsored advertisement. Uh, Circus Time announces Primal Performance Tour. Come one, come all. Circus Time is about to turn your community into a circus town. Our patented Primal Performers can sing, dance, eat, and dance. Want to feed the primals? Two bits for a bag of sprat tails. Want to take one home? Ask our lawyers. Want to be part of the meet and greet retreat? Looking into uh, Look into pricing for our premium primal pack. Keep your eyes to the sky. Primals are coming. So here, the little caveat, um, you know, ask our lawyers. Under no circumstances should primals leave their enclosure. Primals will consume human flesh. Unattended primals should be reported to the nearest circus time authority. Do not expose primals to gunfire, loud noises, or harsh language of any kind. Primal musk is toxic and mildly corrosive. Do not submerge body parts in primal musk. Circus time employees will never instruct guests to interact with primal musk, ever. So, um, yeah, there's a circus with primals in it. That's, uh, that's one part of the puzzle. Uh, what else we got equipped, anyway? Let's have a look. Because we got uh, a grenade launcher. We got that tactical shotgun recently, didn't we? Um, I think... Forget about guns. Uh, forget about guns. Forget about anything that isn't guns, rather. Forget about the melee weapons. I don't think these would be the best. But, tell you what. Uh, Pavati could do with an upgrade. So you can have that. Cool. I think that'll do. 
What have you got? One, three. Yeah, I think that that's fine. Um, we got another one as well. And then we got Montag, which actually is better than this, isn't it? This is terrible condition. This is in real bad condition. So let's swap it for Montag. That again is a little bit knackered. Yeah, our items are a bit damaged. Should probably do something about that. But I have a feeling we'll find some new ones soon. Okay, sadly, these sprats have um, got a bit wrong. Which is very sad. Poor things. Oh, that's different. I didn't have a Mega Sprat last time I was here. Which means that it's slightly randomized, huh? Damn, that's so cool. I did not realize these engagements are randomized. I had no idea. So hey, I guess it was worth coming back. I had no idea. Plasma Launcher? Yeah, I'll have it. So yeah, there were Sprats here last time, but not a, not a big one. That's real cool. So, quickly run through here. Because uh, there's a bit of loot. No, nope, not much. Again, I think that might be uh, that might be randomised too. So yeah, uh, Firefly, fun little reference there for anyone who gets that. I'm not going to spoil it because this is my way of having a bit of fun uh, watching you guys all scramble to be uh, to be the one to tell me <laughs> what that's a reference of. Right. So space is chore. Server is missed. And here is part two of uh, the puzzle here. Predictably, our primal passengers broke free shortly after landing. I said this would happen after the enclosure malfunction we hushed on, up on Byzantium. Who cares how many tickets we sold? That woman lost an arm. The first and second recovery teams never returned. The only way I can convince the rest of the crew to form a third team is if I join them. I'm management. Architect erase them. I'm not supposed to face this type of hazard. I'm leaving this journal with the ship in case we don't return. I guess they didn't return. Uh, to any Circus Time employees reading this, immediately hand this device to your supervisor and stop reading. Well, I'm not a Circus Time employee, so I'm not going to do that. Circus Time supervisors, our plans to present the primal performers were premature. These creatures cannot be tamed. The next time marketing wants to present an actual circus, make one of... Excuse me. Make one of them lead the damn thing. So, as you can see, um, they... Yeah, the, the actual performers had no... Uh, yeah, they, they had no plan in place. They didn't want um, the primals on board. And, as expected, things went wrong for them. And now the circus is, uh, well, all the employees are probably dead because they didn't come back. And these aren't employees of the circus. They're just a bunch of marauders. Heavy machine gun. Yes, please. Oh, this is so expensive to unlock. But I'm going to do it anyway. Because uh, I'm mad like that. Okay, flamethrower. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay, we've got some fun stuff. Another tactical shotgun. Might as well take that with me. And, um... Okay, that seems to be everything up here. Brilliant. So, yeah. Really, uh... Really like this area. It's really cool. I really like it. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna go back onto the road, I think. There's one other little area, uh... Back there. Like, behind the landing pad area. Um... You know, that we're currently on. But, it... Yeah, there's not a lot there. Not a lot there. It's just a little wrecked ship. Just a bit of loot in it. Not really a priority. Doesn't seem to be anything important. So, uh, we'll give that a miss for now, I think. But yeah, it's just, uh, just there. So you can see the wreckage there. So, don't have to worry about that. So yeah, there's our ship. The Unreliable. And yeah, Captain Ryan is over there. <laughs> He's fun. He's a good character. Right, uh, oh. Haven't got those bit crutches yet. And, uh, also, there's this little tunnel through the wreckage. Which is fun, because it's a nice sort of, uh, sort of, just sort of storytelling by, like, showing, not telling. Um, you can see there's just, like, the odd little bit of clutter around here. And there's just a ton of food canisters, you know, little food packages. Which makes you wonder if someone's been, like, living in here, um, hiding amongst the rubble. So, yeah, kind of fun. Just, like, you know, a little hint, hint that something might be going on, which I like. So, now, the, oh, oh, we've got some skills. Excellent. So stealth could go up for sure, and I think I might do this just because I really need hack and and uh, lockpick to go up because we are getting through so many of um, you know so many of the lockpicks, etc. And I just I want to be able to open things. I want to be able to open things. I know our character's an idiot, but I also want to like experience the game, and that's sort of the tough thing with it. This is my first playthrough, so I want to be able to see it. Um, yeah, you know, I'll be able to see what the game's got to offer. So flamethrower. Let's equip that instead of the electric thingy. What's it? Because 
well you can see we're doing more damage with the flamethrower and they're both pretty short range um heavy machine gun let's actually swap that out because you can see it's only 53 and uh it was actually in the episode we've just done i realized that every single one of these weapons has levels so you can see that hunting rifle is only level two which obviously is quite low compared to this which is level 15 yeah you know what? i'm going to change out the um tactical shotgun for that as well um so the plasma rifle it just has high damage so i'm happy to keep that for now but a lot of the stuff we will need to scrap soon we are getting quite heavy but hey we've got plenty to do so some robots over here so we get back on the road so two ways we could travel that um oh wait, no there isn't so yeah that's that's the launch pad that goes up to where we've just been and uh now this way oh Let's try and get behind him. God, he's got quick turn speed, huh? There we go. Perfect. Good stuff. Yeah, the heavy machine gun's pretty cool. I'm a fan. Stunned? Uh, dead. Nice. Yeah, good. But yeah, I really like machine guns in this game, I've decided. They're very satisfying to use. Because um, a lot of it is just trying to sort of control the spread. Because um, they are super inaccurate, which I think is great. It makes it feel very different from, like, an assault rifle. It's not just an assault rifle with bigger bullets, you know? Oh, God, I don't want to spend all those mag picks. I really don't. We'll come back to that later if we find some more, I guess. Um, so this place I do want to go to as well. So we need to go just over that ridge to get to uh, Captain Irion. But, as you can see, there's some big lads. So let's equip the flamethrower, because we haven't seen that yet. And... Nice. Try and deal with them. Oh, God, he's still going, is he? So this is a weird one, because it seems to shoot everything at once. And then when you slow down time, it catches up. Uh, well, when you speed up time again, it catches up. And suddenly, like, all of the shots will hit. No, thank you. Ow. 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 Please stun him. Please. Please say that stunned him. <gasps> it has. Okay, now let's just set fire to everything. Okay, what is happening? Am I damaging him at all? Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, he's tougher than I remember. Oh, wow, that's cool, isn't it? The plasma grenade launcher. Uh, let's maim it. Whoa, that was some damage, huh? I like this. I like this gun. This gun is good for killing big things. I like big gun. Ooh. Okay, guys. Grenade launcher is awesome. But, uh, wow. Wow, that thing messed us up. Uh, I mean, it's tough. It's tough. I had some problems with it before, but... God, that was probably not an ideal way to engage. And here we go. This is what I want to see. A bit more of the story. So this is a bit slightly different story. Um, here. So, I wanted to retire on Groundbreaker. One more job, I told myself. Never had any trouble with outlaws until now. I never told them what we were hauling, but they shut off comms and opened fire again. They're shooting to wound. It's only a matter of time before this bird falls out of the sky. So, I'm setting it down in the hopes we can broker some agreement, uh, agreeable terms of surrender. Even if it means my head, at least the crew gets a fighting chance. Can't shake the feeling they were ready for me, like they knew exactly which route to take. Uh, route I'd take. What a way to end a career. So that was the uh, independent freighter, Getaway Sticks. I have a feeling the fact it's independent is a factor here. Because I think it might be independent ships being um, being hunted down, perhaps. Because there's another hint of um, another ship that's sort of been lost. Oh, God, these are just so expensive to open, but let's do it. And the Vermin. Seems like an alright pistol, that. 112 damage per hit. Reconditioned exo helmet. Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, oh, you know what? I know why things have been more difficult. There's a uh, there's a uh, vending machine up here. 
I think he's up there. Yeah, I think he's up here. Is that them? Uh, oh no, there it is. And yeah, I bought everyone armor at the start of last episode before my audio cut out. So, ah, and they have it again. So this armor's really good. This armor's really good. So I like that a lot. Let's have a quick look at... Uh, oh, not as good helmets as last time, though. That's a problem. So let's have a quick look at these guys. They've got... Uh, 11. And 14. So, 11 and 14 compared to 22 and 22. And 22. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy all of these. They only cost 600, which isn't too bad. Um... Yeah, only 600. Yeah, I thought they were cheaper last time. Oh god, I don't know. Maybe they weren't. But either way, I'm buying them. So that's fun. So we got those now. We got those. And you'll see they look really cool too. They're pretty uh, pretty slick because they're gold. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So they look way cooler. And they just have way better armor. So hopefully, this will be what swings it. And we won't get beaten up so badly again. Because yeah, I did buy us all better armor last time too. And again, does seem that slightly randomised. Uh, what on earth? Oh, no, sorry, that's just a normal bug. So you guys didn't see anything there, but for some reason, uh, I mentioned this on uh, Total War as well. There's some weird bug that I've been getting since a recent Windows update that has been just removed, like basically just like flashing black. Like my monitor's been removed. Like, it's not plugged in anymore, it just goes black, and then it goes, Oh, no, no, I am plugged in, and it's fine again. And a few a few friends of mine have had that problem too. It seems to be just people with dual monitor setups. Um, so, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. So, I thought something had gone horribly wrong, but actually it was something you couldn't even see. So, yeah, I'm going to scrap a bunch of stuff, because uh, just seeing the fact that all of this is very low level, it doesn't really matter. Sadly, a lot of it is sort of uniforms for people. And actually, that looks like... Yeah, engineering going up quite a bit. Sounds like it might be handy. Uh, I keep the elite, tro the elite troop armor for now, because someone else might need that. Uh, now we just get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of all the melee weapons. I know, it's a shame. And that is, yeah, the level 2 one, which we don't need. Uh, the light machine gun we don't need, because we've got the heavy machine gun. Same with that one. Uh, let's get rid of that too. And the assault rifle, why not? I know, we're getting rid of basically everything. But at this point, we might as well. Might as well. Don't need a grenade launcher, we've got a plasma grenade launcher, right? So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And get rid of the tactical shotguns as well. I don't think they're uh, quite good enough, honestly. They seem to do too little damage per hit, so anything with like any armor just doesn't get hurt. That sort of shotgun we don't need anymore either. And we don't really need the shot cannon. We don't need a light pistol. Uh, I'm going to keep Montag for now and the vermin. We're going to get rid of the hammer though. There we go. Okay, done the admin. Let's go save uh, Captain Irion. I mean, let's go meet Captain Irion. See, this is why I want to do a blind playthrough, guys. I don't want to suggest anything. You know, I don't want to suggest anything by having seen it already. It's a real pity. Uh, oh, do I? I'm going to open it now. Screw it. Probably a mistake, but I'm going to do it. Uh, face mask. We don't need don't need helmets because uh, <laughs> we got our own. Love it. Hopefully we get higher level ones, and yeah, and that'd be wild. Uh, anything nearby? There we go. I'm not sure what to aim with this. Oh. A little bit further, huh? Wow, that did the job. Uh, oh, he's gone underground. So that's fine. Whoops. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, this thing's pretty rad. It's quite difficult to shoot, and uh, trying to figure out <laughs> where it's hitting is not easy. I've got to say, it is not easy. Stole a helmet for some reason. I'm picking up everything. Like a lunatic. So, um, yep. Yeah, just Terraformer. It just looks awesome. It looks so cool. I think that's really awesome. It's a very cool looking thing. So, There are snipers and such. Shut up now, and you might get out of this alive. Can we hurry this up? I want that ship gutted before the primals find us. 
Is working. Keep an eye on the health. We can stand. I'll like, just uh, stand over on his left. I'm a little bit on fire. Which is a problem. Nope. There we go. God, Pavardi got taken out. Jeez. That's the thing. I get so surprised every time I see how guys go down. Because I mean, on the highest difficulty. There's permadeath for heroes. Like, they'll die. Like, our, our companions will die permanently. And they're in limited supply. It's not like they're just a mercenary. You can't just, you know, click one companion, please, and it dispenses one. Like, no, they're proper characters with quests and everything. Crazy. Anyway, hello. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Why does that sound familiar? Uh ah, -uh, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. Hello, Ellie. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. It's Dr. Fenhill. Love it. So, uh, yeah, this guy is a bit of a bit of a smoothie. Um, yeah, he he just reminds me of um, Zach Brannigan a lot. Like, just kind of inept as a captain. Um, likes the ladies. Just a bit of a yeah, he's 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 hilarious. I hope we bump into him again, honestly. I hope he turns up again in the game. And it's not just this one time. So, uh you two know each other. I certainly know his ex crew. Mostly from the operating table. I've probably seen more of them than he has. How cruel you are. I distinctly remember a special party at the Lost Hope Bar on Groundbreaker where we We did not. Oh fine. But we almost <laughs> Keep going, and you're gonna see how good this automech is at picking up teeth. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. <laughs> of course. Uh, so, uh, Captain Orion. Orion? Orion. Orion. I think it's Captain Orion. I don't know. Captain Orion, I take it. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? <laughs> she did. I swear. Land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No <laughs> offense. Certain peril. So he has admitted that he was in certain peril, but also he's not admitting that. Victory sweat, all that luck. Uh, cool. Not taken. I'll let Wanda know her shipment's on the way. Magnificent. And do please give Wanda my chilliest regards. And farewell to you, dear Dr. Fenhill. I trust I'll see you next I find myself on the groundbreaker. You'd better hope not. Better hope not. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think we've got everything we need. Oh, this is going to be locked, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Good, good, good. Thank God. Don't need another plasma cutter, though. Right of meds. And so, yeah, that's, um... This calls a medical droid, huh? Still looks like a terrifying killing machine with a... Like, I don't want to know what it would inject you with with that. It, it could do horrible things to you. It could do horrible things to you. It's not... <laughs> it's not pretty. But hey... If it saves lives, it's all good. Um, so yeah, been over there already. Got the just our ass handed to us over there, basically. Um, so I'm gonna go uh, underneath this because it just looks cool. And oh, we get experience for discovery anyway, so not worth imagine it. Imagine leaving something as expensive as a terraform lying around. Seems pointless though. Gotta leave it on forever. And the pylons. Else the air just drifts off. So yeah, that's an interesting thing. So the terraformer is making this area livable, but the pylons are keeping the area contained where it's livable, because it's just some asteroid in space. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. I think it's pretty cool, though. Because like, there's no terraforming an asteroid like this. There's, it's just not going to happen. So this is just temporary. Um, 
But what I do love is just the fact that it's all grass and mushrooms. Because as far as I'm aware, grasses and mushrooms are like the, just the best sort of way to start um, terraforming a planet. Especially fungus. Because fungus can survive anywhere and can pretty much live in any environment. Um, not any, but like a lot. They're very resilient. There's different funguses for all sorts. And that can like create different um, different environments ready for other stuff. They're very good at that. Uh, interesting. There's no enemies here this time. That's super weird. That is super weird. Huh. Okay, so it's not just random enemies. Sometimes there just aren't any. That is really cool. Oh, brilliant. This doesn't cost anything. Thank God for that. Good. Good. Right, let's head over this way. So, uh, we've done a mission, obviously. But, there's more on the planet. Uh, there's a town over there that I want to go to. And there's no one over here either. Wow. Oh, yeah, there is. Damn. They're on us. Nice one. I think we're all right, though, huh? Bullseye. Okay, die now. Thanks. Oh, is everybody? Oh no, he's still going. Thanks, Ellie. And, uh, Favati. If you would. Thank you. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! Well, she apologizes when she kills people. It's very cute. Right, let's, uh... Let's see. You know what? I've missed something. I've missed something. Hang on a minute. It's on one of these boxes here. Uh... Where is it? Ah, here we go. Cool. So here, something else. Another independence freighter. Okay, this one's called the Cat's Meow. Our scanners caught movement on the fringes of Scylla. Haven't seen anything since, but I get the impression we're being followed. I ordered an engineer to go dark. Um, I ordered engineering, rather, to go dark and drift cold for the next several hours. We should be indistinguishable from space debris. Should. Famous last words. Why do I feel like something, someone is targeting us and knows exactly what to look for? If that's true, then we're already dead. So, so that's the interesting thing. So it seems that Scylla, now that um, the mining operation is clearly it's clearly not going to plan. Um, it seems like they're just in a lot of trouble, generally. Um, it's just pirates using it to take people out, maybe? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure if the, the guys we killed up there are related or not. You know, if they're the ones that are actually hunting down these ships, or... I don't know. I don't know. I'm assuming that's the case, though. You know, they're living by, like, essentially like wreckers. You know, getting ships to... Crash land. That was uh, that was how wreckers did their thing, luring them onto rocks. Similar premise, Somebody I imagine. Oh, I didn't do enough. Ooh. Okay, please let me get past this armor. Oh, good. Nope, you don't move. Let me shoot you. No, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. Okay, someone finish this guy. These guys are sturdy. Guys are very sturdy. Uh, let's heal. Okay. Might have rushed this. Because, again, this is actually slightly different than last time, and I keep thinking it'll be the same. So like it was easy last time I walked in here. No. No, it's not. Okay, come on. Deal with it. Oh my god, really? God, these seem so much sturdier than before. Uh, oh my god, really? Ah, there are so many more than they were before. There were only like two guys here last time. Jesus. Alright, get there. Pavati, get your health back up. Now, try and stun him. Did it work? <gasps> it did. That's really not going past the armor, is it? Okay. No, no. Nope. I need to reload. Alright, blind him. Uh, cripple him. Oh, thank God for that. Phew. Yeah, not easy. Get up, Ellie. Hey, girl. Right, so. First off, let's check this out. Uh, okay. Check this room out. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it's full of mechanicals that are trying to kill everybody. So it's not it's not doing that well. Um, the colony here. 
some ammo. Oh, that seems to be it in here. All right. Um, now, annoyingly, <laughs> I think we need lockpicks over here. And can we get any from here? No, we can't. Damn. Oh, let's sell some junk, by the way. Let's do that. There we go. Sell some junk. All good. But yeah, we can't get any lockpicks, which we will need for this door. Oh, we need three more of them. Okay, that might be stretching it. Um, it just there's some good stuff in there. It's just loot. I don't think there's anything story related in there. From what I saw. Oh, okay. Cool. Sold some more to vendors. Got an achievement. Bit late there. Bit late. So, this is where things are fun. Mandibular Rearranger. It's a science weapon. And honestly, it doesn't... I, I don't know what the hell it does. <laughs> I really don't. I've tried it out and it doesn't seem to do much. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do. So science weapon. This weapon was created by an unknown and possibly quite deranged scientist. Exactly how it works and why is a mystery. And it has never been duplicated. So Jock weapons are indeed apartment. Science weapons. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and the strength of their effects both um, increase as your science skill is increased. Jock engineers ensure our bottom line and fire rates are sky high. It could just be that we have crap science skill, so I'm just not seeing the benefit. Because uh, science weapons really are for people who don't want to spec in guns, you know. Just clever people. But this terminal is very important for this place. Messages. So, all messages sent or received by this terminal are the property of Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Personal messages may be sent with supervisor's approval. Cost, uh, cost of personal messages will be deduced, uh, deducted from employee's salary. Please select the message you wish to view. First off, we've completed our initial survey. So this is uh, Thackeray to Evers. Um, so we've completed our initial survey and have to admit that our, uh, your hunch was right. I owe you lunch next time I'm on Terra 1. We barely started our survey before we uncovered a mineral vein with high densities of yttrium and scandium. There's a limit to how much my team can extract in these pressure suits. Get us a terraformer and some prospecting mechanicals, and this little venture of ours is going to make us all rich. Hope the weather on Terra 1 isn't getting you down. I hear our permanent facility on Hephaestus is almost ready for habitation. So, next up, Thackeray to Evers. Um, Thanks for rushing us that replacement part, Linda. My team got the uh, former repaired and it's busy churning out O2 again. Did you have to send one loaded with seed stock? Damn, ga <laughs> damn grasses are triggering my allergies. Not really much point if it's just a big machine shooting out oxygen, uh, which is kind of what it is. So, uh, growing plants on an asteroid, kind of pointless, but hey, whatever. Um, survey efforts continue. That initial vein ran dry quicker than we had hoped, uh, but we're getting promising results from other locations. Density of scandium lower than first sight, but yttrium still at respectable levels. We had a board team out here last week scanning for signals from the Hope, which is the ship where we were frozen on, I believe. Uh, we could all guess the results from how unhappy they looked. It's been three years since the board classified the ship as missing. Uh, you'd think we'd be over it by now. So this I find bizarre, because I was pretty sure that the the whole thing was we were frozen because, like, corporate greed or whatever. You know, I thought it was we were left there, like, abandoned because we weren't profitable or something. Um, I thought that was the plan. I didn't think we the ship had actually been lost because Wells found it, you know? And that other ship came and scared him away from it. So they had some board team, you know, scanning for signals, but then be looking upset. As if they couldn't find anything. It seems unusual, so I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the story is here. Hopefully we'll learn more, but it's intriguing for sure. So, next one. Congratulations on your promotion. Youngest full VP in company history. Just promise me you won't promote that drill bit. Need him to replace you. So it's Thackeray and Evers again. Uh, bad news, Lynn. All the sites within the former's dome have run dry. The mechanicals are bringing back good samples from beyond the retention field. I'll be sending you a requisition for a hauler to relocate the terraformer closer to the new sites. My team heard that you arranged some uh, for some circus time traveling show to stop at our base. It was a big boost to morale. We can't wait for some entertainment out here. And finally, this is Needham to Thackeray. Yeah, 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 Needham. If we look here, uh... <laughs> just promise me you won't promote that drill bit need them to replace you well they did clearly oh dear junior vp so thackeray your request for the site relocation on that useless rock is denied you've had over a year to generate a profit if you haven't done it by now it's not going to happen and evers is too busy to hide your incompetence 
I don't want to hear any of your absurd excuses either. The terraformer failure was bad enough, but this drivel about primals running loose and damaging your equipment is the limit. The utter limit, do you hear? So he doesn't believe that primals, um, you know, have been destroying stuff, because what would primals be doing on an asteroid? That's right, the circus. The circus happened on an asteroid. Operations at your site are terminated, effective immediately. I've got a new site in mind for you. One of the rocks orbiting Hephaestus. Temps are a cool 170 degrees C. You'll love it. So for any Americans watching this um, that are used to Fahrenheit, that's um, 70 above boiling. So, yeah, like that's... You can cook chips. Sorry. Nope. Fries. You can cook fries in the oven um, at that temperature. That's hot. That's hot as hell. That's like the temperature you cook things at. It's not it's not good. Quite low. A little bit low for cooking. It's usually like 180 to 200 cooking most things. But anyway, 170, you can cook stuff. So, logs. So... Here, um, a visiting board team reminded me of the date. We should be celebrating your 42nd birthday today. I try and get you uh, drunk on the latest Rizzo's concoction. You turn up your nose and say it was nowhere near as good as the earth wine. I don't know where you are, big sis. It's been 13 years since you entered hibernation. Since the hope started its journey. I don't know what happened, why you never got here. If the architect is kind, you didn't suffer. I think about you all the time. Every time one of the big interstellar conveyors blazes past, I look up and hope. Hope. Whoever named that damn ship should take a walk in the ether. I'm so sorry. I never should have convinced you to sign the indenture contract and join me on Halcyon. I'll never stop thinking about you, Jules. Please forgive me. So this I also found super interesting when I first read it, because that implies that indentured servitude was something before we got frozen. So for all we know, we actually have signed a contract and somebody owns us somewhere. There could be somewhere, you know, someone out there who is wondering where their employee is. So interesting interesting except probably presumed dead at this point right or well, he's been written off i don't know so anyway reminder ask about sublight ask linda for this inf uh, for info on the sublight company that freighter captain claimed to work for them very strange ship no corporate branding or colors the captain didn't wear an approved uniform dealing with him left me feeling out of sorts um had some interesting items for sale though can't shake the feeling that they fell off the back of a conveyor. That captain sold Harris something called the Rearranger, then left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. I only think it rearranges the number of bits on Harris's cart. Um, looks like some strange tech. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. Which um, immediately makes me think maybe we should take this to Wells. So a scientist, like a scientist could make something of it. You never know. It might be enabled or something. It's weird effects. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's just me guessing. It could just be that we're crap at science, so the weapon's useless. Because uh, it seems to just do nothing. It seems to have, like, no other effect apart from you just batting things with it. And it does very little damage, so I don't know what the... I don't know what the deal is. Um, although, actually, let's have a quick look. If I go to skills? No, that's all inventory. Character. Here I am. Skills. Uh, science. Um, improve your weapons and armor on the workbench. Oh, wow, that sounds cool. Tinkering cost is cheaper. Extra corrosive and... Yeah, I don't know. Tinkering cost with science weapons. Can't, yeah, I don't know. I, I was hoping this would say... Science weapons work. I don't know. Not sure then. Uh, right, control gear. Why not? Pick that up. Bit cartridges. So yes, uh, so that's the kind of the story of this place. Um, it looks a little bit more clear now. So it was a mining operation. Uh, it wasn't profitable, though it looks like, you know, maybe just outside of these walls there was the potential for a lot of profit but that guy got insulted and also thought that the people here were taking the mick saying like oh yeah primals of course primals running around how convenient so it's all very strange um so yeah just a bunch of uh just horrible things happened and now it's just some just horrible asteroid um where people are being brought to uh to get Attacked by pirates, I suppose. Oh, also, the it mentioned... Um, God, what company to mention? The guys that sold the science weapon. A couple of the bodies of their guys are up there, by the way. Um, up by the, sort of, those raider guys. Look like they'd killed... You know, the marauders nice had killed them. But also, the there's this cave. Meet all sorts of new people. Sure, best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in those waters. Except the captain. Hello, Sprat. Kind of hard to make new friends when... Everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. <laughs> so yeah, Pavati still being super insecure. But hopefully some of Ellie's like cockiness will rub off on her. And hopefully some of Pavati's like just 
just good nature will rub off on Ellie. Might balance them both out a bit so we don't have like a sort of um, self-interested maniac and um, someone who's just selfless to a fault. So, you know. So, uh, abandoned prospecting drone. So I found this little fella in his cave. And he seems cute. And also, he's got a little miner's hat on. Salutations. See? This unit's primary function is excavator. Owner, Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Other functions include dialogue, limited current active commands, excavation. That is all. Aww. So, um, <laughs> as far as I can tell, this guy does nothing, really. He's just here as a curiosity, which I think is fun. I like the idea of just there being a bunch of stuff in the game that's just sort of there to be found, but doesn't really do much. But you never know. We might we might have to come back for him at some point. I don't know. But uh, anyway, uh, this place is abandoned. I think you could stop. Negative. The presence or absence of human operators does not impact this unit's assigned directive. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. This unit needs to learn how to have a good time. There's something right soothing about having a job and doing it proper. If you want to keep working, little guy, I say you do it. Aww. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinions about excavation. <laughs> uh, what are you excavating? This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. So, you're a prospector. Brevity identified. Affirmative. This unit could discuss excavation at greater length, but does not wish to strain its daily charge. Oh, Thank he's you getting for tired. Your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. This unit will store this exchange in its memory banks. Always. <laughs> oh, he's E.T. Um, he will remember us always. Isn't that adorable? So, yeah, just a really fun, just daft thing to find. Um, so I'm a big fan of that. Just, like, nonsense like that. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to try and avoid everything else that might try and kill us. Because, uh, well, there's a big lad there. And there's also some ones over there. Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. So there we go. Um, yeah, so I think we can head back to the ship now. We've done our mission. Sort of worked out the story of this place to an extent. Uh, which I think is quite fun. I like that you can just... Oh, hello. There's actually people here now. I mean, there were people. Okay, let's blow that up. Alright, damage in it. Oh, we did cripple him pretty well. Alright, come on, guys. Yeah, shoot him up. And yeah, give him a boop. Oh, I think we booped him. Ah. Wow, it, killed a, it sort of went poop. Knocked us flying a bit. Interesting. Uh, also, yeah, let's, uh, let's nab your stuff. See, so, yeah, a bunch of outlaws. Still, uh, still kicking. And, yeah, we haven't found any mag picks. So I can't open that door, which sucks. I'm very annoyed about that. Um, uh, yeah, we need to get a bunch of mag picks. So we need to go somewhere where people like us so we can buy some. Oh, bypass shunt in there. If only it was a mag pick. But, yeah, we need to buy some mag picks. Because we need to. We need them. We need a ton. <laughs> we need to keep putting up our, like, levels. Um in those skills, just so we can access areas a little bit easier. You know, it gives us more variety. Because, yeah, I know we're playing a stupid playthrough, but I also want to... I also want to experience as much as I can. Because, you know, I'm probably only going to do the one playthrough on YouTube. I think it'd be a bit silly to do another one. So, I'd like to show off what I can. I'd like to experience what I can, you know. Because this is my first time playing it, I want to enjoy it. I love this place. Looks like they started terraforming the place, but gave up halfway. Yeah, well, they certainly did. Although, it was already mentioned that it would be pointless to try and terraform this anyway, so... But yeah, so there we go. Goodbye, planet. Goodbye. Uh, so we've got ten minutes left of the episode, which is cool. So we can go hand this back in. And, uh, 
plan some other stuff. So, we acquired a toss ball. Huh? Oh, I am alert and awake. Not to worry. I take our ship's security highly seriously. <laughs> Ada is asleep. Uh, so one other thing I want to do, which uh, I was... Oh, actually, we can level up Felix, apparently. What have you got? Uh, persuade when he's in the party. That sounds good. Damage to cowering enemies and... Ooh, and our companions and I do more damage. There, let's do that. Also, if you guys have heard me say that before, it's because I figured it was in the last episode, but it might have been in the previous one. I don't know, but either way, Felix get leveled up now. Um, so there we go. There we go. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now we're basically where I was, which is nice. But uh, there's one thing that I want to then go and do, which we'll see if we can do. Where is it? Companion quests. Let's talk to Pavati. Hello, Pavati. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Uh, sure. So, Jun Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well... She sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Aw. So, um, she's being sent bad poetry, which is... Kind of adorable, I've gotta say. Um... How bad can it be? She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. Ooh, it's about yeah, this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I'd forgotten about this. So, Jun Lei wants you to give her a tune-up? I don't get it. It's like a metaphor, <laughs> Captain. I think? Meta what? Oh, see, this is why poetry throws me off my bearings. If it ain't a metaphor, that worries me more. <laughs> Sounds like she'd like to. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Oh, So, yeah, I find this super interesting and uh, just just awesome, really. It's, it's not something you ever see in games. Because always in games, there's always some, like, ham-fisted, crappy, like... Oh yeah, you can romance all the characters, so of course they have to be all interested in romance for that to be possible. And um, I think I mentioned in a previous episode, I find that so cringeworthy, um, sort of romance options in games, because it never feels natural. Because, like, romance doesn't start through dialogue, it's more than that. It, it, so it never comes across accurately in games. It always seems weird as hell to me. Um, you know, unless it's... Uh, in RPGs, it seems weird. It can work in, like, games where that's the point, if it's more about, like, the... If it's just storytelling, you know, things like Telltale's games and stuff can sometimes seem less cumbersome, because it's, you know, it's all hand-animated. So it makes more sense. It feels a bit more real. There's the mannerisms there. In this, there aren't. Um, but yeah, so just to have an asexual character is something you never see. And I think that's awesome, because, you know, just because they don't want to sleep with someone doesn't mean that they don't want companionship. And I think that's nice to see that in a game. It's uh, it's super rare. So I think, yeah, fair play. Um, I love it. So more points. More points to the game for that, for sure. So, uh, everybody's different. Don't worry about it. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from Jun Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking... Isabel. Who's... Who's Isabel? Oh, no. 
Uh, everything okay? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Uh, huh. Well, we got a perception, apparently. And yeah, again, perception, not the same as intelligence, okay? Perception, I think, is more holistic. Yeah, you haven't done the maths to be like, oh, you know, their, their lips tightened there, they're slightly more squinty, they're looking down more. Like, you're not doing the maths, it's a, it's a, you just pick up on things, don't you? So, um, and we're a people person. So, they were close. Not anymore. I don't know. June and I talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Um... <laughs> oh, the top one. Um, I don't know if this is supposed to be a joke or not. Uh, is that our character saying it or not? Uh, let's see, if that's what you want next. Uh, next time we hit Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Uh, are you sure you can hold your liquor? I don't think drinking is going to solve it, or would it be easy to talk about? Uh, talk to her about this Isabel person. No, no, we're gonna go with great idea! Drinking solves everything! Come on, Captain, this is no time to be fooling on me. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Okay, yeah, so that is a joke. I think I did pick that last time. So, yeah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go have a drink with Pavati and find out her woes and, uh, hopefully help her out a bit. We, I haven't done this yet. I haven't done this yet, which is awesome. So this is, um, that's as much as I've done. That's as much as I've done. I'm surprised that actually I got through all that stuff the first time as quickly as I did. I'm very surprised. But yeah, this is about how much I managed in the last episode. So, let's get in here. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. And obviously when I say the last episode, I mean the last episode that I, you know, recorded, which is <laughs> this episode. Weirdly, we you know what I mean. Alright, so, uh, Ellie, you're staying here. Or, should we bring her with? I'm not sure. I think, like, we'll go to the bar with Pavati, but actually, Ellie might have something to say. Um, because she's a bit more free-spirited. I think she'd be quite encouraging. Felix might be too, but I'm not sure I want to bring Felix onto Groundbreaker. He might get us arrested. Uh, also, the vicar, no. No, he, no. Just, no. He's a rock and roll kind of guy, but he will somehow find a way to bring business into it. It's just weird. Like, just... He's an odd one. He's an odd character. I definitely want to find out more about Vicar Max. Because he seems to be... He seems to believe in all the business stuff that is, you know, his religion. But also, he thinks that a lot of it is wrong? It seems. So, like, he... he yeah, I don't know. I guess he's just, like, not a fundamentalist. It's weird. He seems to realise there are other perspectives to have, but genuinely believes in, like, the power of corporation or something. It's strange. But yeah, really unique guy. Really unique guy. For sure. But, um, I don't think it'd be any help here. But yeah, Ellie might actually chime in. And help, I think. So, that might be good. And actually, given the fact it's an RPG, we might get to the, uh, we might get to the bar and then just get attacked. And it might just be, oh, that fight did me some good. Yeah, it could be the case. <laughs> she seems quite likely. Um, okay, we're here. And yeah, I'm trying to think. Where are we handing in that other mission? Um, I can't remember who sent us to that planet. So, how does this work? Do we get a table? Do we stand in the corner? Uh, can we sit? No, we can't seem to sit anywhere. Uh... Yeah, we can't seem to sit anywhere, so I'm not sure. Um, although she's our mission objective, so I guess we just talk to her. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. I am. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. <laughs> let's go top shelf. Uh, no. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's perception. Should we want to do it? We don't have enough perception for that, so. We're not that perceptive. But, um, let's see. Uh, you're new to this whole loosening up thing. How about wine? Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay, wine it is. Bottoms up. Good choice for getting sloshed when you want to act fancy about it. <laughs> wow, this is 
They'd be kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Right? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Did she, like, suddenly get drunk? <laughs> Seemed like it. Uh, but she's loosened up, and that's a good thing, you know. Um, I'm doing this. Let's go. Generally or specifically? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, there you go. Start, uh, start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Let's see, um... What, did she actually write in the message? Or no one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like? I think is the one to go with it. Or it could be overthinking it. No, let's go with number two. Um, no one sends terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Exactly. Takes a lot of trust to hand over that kind of blackmail material. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd call it uh, sensual. That's a lot. Uh, poem implied you coming home with a touch. That's romance serial grade stuff. Yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, poem implied you coming home with a touch. That seems a bit too. Um, that almost seems like we're using logic there. It's tough bouncing EQ and IQ with a character like this. Because EQ, you know, emotional quotient, that's that's the perception stuff. That's the people stuff. Um, and then IQ is obviously the logical stuff. So, you know, it's tough. It's tough. I'm going to go I'm gonna go to number one, though, because I want to see where this goes. Um, the poem applied you coming here with a touch. That's romance serial grade stuff. It did. Oh, dear. I hadn't really... Oh, my goodness. And I told you... Let's read it right now, just to be sure. <laughs> she didn't realize it was um, as raunchy uh, or as romantic as, yeah, she missed it completely, which is pretty funny. She was freaking out. She didn't even realize the context of that, which is, again, adorable, but also reinforces the character. She's asexual, so, you know, she's not going to immediately leap there. So, what did she actually write in the message? You haven't said was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? Uh... No. I don't think so. Well, maybe... Maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences. In a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. <laughs> that sounds about right. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Uh, yeah, maybe you get some water. Oh, by the way, I've been using the numbers to do this. It's more relaxing in a big conversation. I can just, like, press a number. It's just, it's chill. So, yeah. I like Come that. Come on, <laughs> Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. Uh, about what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Again, this is so well written. Um, just the fact she's using the word handsome. Like, handsome isn't... Uh, it's not a very sexy word, is it? But it's it shows sort of... Admitting that they're objectively beautiful, you know, that's that's what that is. I think and I think that's that's kind of cool Not to sexualize it even with the language she's using. It's uh, it's really good. It seems accurate to me But I don't know. I've got very little experience of this That's why I think it's brilliant that media is finally showing that um, A character like that and it seems they put thought into it. So yeah again like mad points with this 
I think this is brilliant. Um, so, let's go with... Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't stop there. You're on a roll. Don't you tease me in my moment of weakness. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? So let's go with, uh... Uh, then you go your separate ways. We have that in common, you know. Not interested in physical affection either. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Or, so you're afraid of disappointing her? Or finally, you can't control how people react to you, even people you care about. I think I think we go straight into the middle there uh, with, Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Um... No, I am who I am. If people don't like that, they're not for me. I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. But, gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Well, to be fair, she does smash marauders with a hammer uh, when I when I press the C button. Or sometimes the V button. Either way, she smashes people up with hammers. So, I mean, like, you know. You know. We've all got a bit of evil inside us. <laughs> Let's go with uh, something to work on, then. Yeah. I like the way you put that. Like, it's okay to want to be better for her. And not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Uh, so, you could ask her out? Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Uh, ooh, interesting. Yes, this is the, the big point at the end. So, we could, we could persuade her, but I think too is just awesome because, uh, that seems to be her character arc. Like, she's, she's very, like, lacking in self-confidence. But for us to use our leadership skills with determination, that's one of our leadership skills, to be like, no, you you know already, right, um, what you want to do. So go for it. I think that's brilliant. Just give her the push to do what like ha what she feels is right. I think it's really nice. Rather than sort of just telling her what she should do. Um, taking the decision out of her hands that way. It doesn't. That doesn't sound right. Um, although... It's totally obvious that that's what she should do. So, determination. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. Okay. I I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on. Oh, Pavati's adorable. Put your moon hat back on. Yeah, so, um, amazing. That's... Just take it back to the ship. That's the, that's the mission. That's it. That's the quest. That's awesome. I actually loved that. I, I really thought that it would try and distract us with a bunch of, like, you know, um, we'd be at the bar and then a pirate would come and steal something from somebody and we'd have to track it down. Or, like, you know, Pavardi would tell us that, like, she's got an ex who has, I don't know, got a kid. Something. Like, I thought there'd be some weird distraction the game would try and send us on some, like, crazy, kooky adventure um, in a sort of getting-to-know-you shared experience bonding activity but no no it was just a good heart to heart and that is that's probably the most real quest i've seen in a game pretty much forever it's just a person with actual like relatable people problems just you know i like someone do they like me and i think that is adorable and amazing and this game gets major points for it um also because you know it's this is something that isn't shown off in media right you know, sort of asexuality, all the rest of it. So, guys, if you think I've sort of got that impression wrong, if you think I've, you know, um, if maybe it's, it's, this hasn't been as tactful, you know, 
um, Pavati, like, if she hasn't been written as tactfully as you think, and you have some experience there, you've got friends, or, you know, you're a therapist or something, for all I know, whatever, if you have some, you know, more hands-on experience with this, probably bad choice of words, but you know what I mean, um, then, yeah, maybe you want to share that in the comments. It's just, uh, you know, I'm happy to read it. Otherwise, uh, join Discord. I'd love to... I'd love to know more, honestly, if I've misinterpreted anything. Um, I, I'm always happy to course correct. So, you know, because that's the thing. I think that just proves there's there really isn't enough of this kind of thing in media and in games, because it's pretty alien to me. And I like to think that, you know, I'm pretty on the ball uh, with this kind of stuff. So, yeah, I find it super interesting. I think it's amazing that there's there's that kind of... Uh, um, yeah, there's a character like Pavati in, in a game like this. I think it's wonderful. So, guys, uh, on that note... Yeah, we've gone a little bit over, but I didn't know how long that would take. I honestly thought we'd get interrupted with the quest and I could say, all right, let's go off on that adventure. But no, that didn't happen. Just a real conversation. Love it. So guys, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.